Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So this speed build, as you guys could probably tell from the title, is another build for my restricted packs and budget build series. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, this series, this like budget slash rest and restricted packs series that I'm, that I'm doing right now, I actually started this way back in October. October, November of last year of 2018 so quite a few months ago I did this where I built five lots in Willow Creek in like the budget more like affordable area of Willow Creek in the right hand you know bottom corner of Willow Creek I built five homes there all on different budgets and everything like that but they were all on budgets and they were all you know restricted packs so I only used maybe like two or three different packs for like all of the builds and then obviously base game but yeah I never count base games since you can't really do anything without base game so yeah but so I saw I, when I did that series I told you guys that I wanted to bring it back at some point and do another you know like almost like installment of the series i guess where i build another group of homes also with a budget and restricted packs so i decided to start this one back up again since i don't really know why but i was just in the mood to build some restricted packs homes which is so weird but yeah, I was just in the mood to build some restricted, you know, pack homes and I decided why not start like the whole series back up again. And so for this one, for this like part of the series, I guess, I will be building another five lots. But this time, obviously, I'm going to be doing it in Oasis Springs since it is another base game world. And I wanted to do these lots first in like the base game worlds. I know I mentioned in like the other videos that I did like way back in the Willow Creek ones that I was thinking of doing it in Windenburg you know doing more of these builds but in Windenburg and I was going to do that but then I thought you know Windenburg came with an expansion pack so I wanted to do something that was in another base game world just to make it a bit more like accessible for you guys if you wanted to download these builds and for all of these builds that I'm doing in Oasis Springs, I will only be using three packs. And they will be the same three packs for all five of the builds. So I'm going to be using obviously the base game. And then the holiday pack, the free holiday pack. But I count that as part of base game since anyone can download it for free on the gallery. You just need to log into Origin and download it. So it's completely free. So I do count that as part of the base game, like a base game update. And then I'm going to be using the Seasons Expansion Pack, the Jungle Adventures Game Pack, and the Laundry Day Stuff Pack. So I decided to use obviously one Game Pack, one Stuff Pack, and one Expansion Pack just to make it, you know, as I said, a bit easier to, you know, get a hold of or like download. And I decided on Seasons and Laundry Day at the beginning. And I figured on I figured to you know using those would be smart since they're probably packs that a lot of people already own since I think they're some of the most popular packs that the game has. And then I decided to add jungle adventures in there since the style of home that I wanted to go for 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 Oasis Springs is obviously this very like Spanish slash Mediterranean kind of style. And for that, I figured it would, you know, be a huge help to have Jungle Adventures since it has some really awesome, like, build and buy items that I would love to use when I build, like, a style like this. So, yeah, that's the packs that I'm going to be using. And this house is obviously on a budget as well. So it is a start home. It's completely a start home. You can move right into this house with either a single sim or a couple if you, you know, jump right out of create a sim with your you know your new sim they don't have any careers or any skills or any money saved up you know just the 20,000 simoleons that you get straight out of create a sim you can go and buy this house 
So the lot value of this lot is I think 1,500 simoleons and then the house itself is 18,450 simoleons. So your sim should be left with around like 50 simoleons after they've bought this house. But this house does have everything you need except for a computer. It doesn't have a PC but it does have a TV and a bookcase and all of that stuff and obviously your sim can just go to the library if they really want to use a PC for some reason. But yeah, I hope you guys like how this build turned out. I love doing this and I've built so much for this series already. I've already done like three other builds and I'm yeah almost done with the third one. So yeah, this I'm loving bringing this series back and I hope you guys enjoy it too. If you did like this video, give it a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and sticking around. And remember to hit the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. But yeah, I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye guys!